This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Good morning. Welcome to Rotary in Hawaii. I'm Janet Sheffer, District Public Image Chair for Rotary in Hawaii, and I want to welcome you to this new show. We'll be seeing you here every couple of weeks talking all about what's happening with Rotary in Hawaii. Right now, I'd like to introduce you to our very special distinguished guest, our District Governor of Hawaii, Winton Shoneman. Welcome to the show. Aloha, Janet, and thank you for having me. And thank you to Think Tech Hawaii for hosting us. Yes, thank you very much, Think Tech. This is a great honor for us to spread the message of Rotary across Hawaii to everybody. So we're going to start out today by finding out a little bit more about what Rotary is. Rotary has been around a long time. There's a lot of people that are involved, but not everybody understands what it is. Can you give us a good basic understanding of what Rotary is today? Sure, yeah. sure. Rotary is a global organization composed of more than a million people. Um, we had our origins in uh, 1905. We're the original uh, business networking organization, if you will. Um, and it's not like today. I mean, in 1905, uh, the country was in recession. Uh, it was the Industrial Revolution. There were a lot of different things going on. Um, and people did not regularly network. And so Paul Harris, our uh, founder of Rotary, um, got together with four of his friends and talked about the possibility of supporting each other and growing their businesses by working together and collaborating. Um, and so they, uh, the word Rotary itself actually came from the fact that they would rotate meetings from office to office to office uh, over a period of months. Um, Rotary grew very quickly um, when they established their first community service project in Chicago, Illinois, which was a Lua. <coughs> they, they built a bathroom in downtown Chicago, the, the first public restroom. Um, but it grew very rapidly after that. Uh, within 15 years, they had become an international organization with uh, clubs on, in Cuba, uh, in North America, South America, um, and, and, and Europe. So it grew very rapidly. Um, Rotary came to Hawaii in 1915, so very early on. Uh, the Rotary Club of Honolulu was established July 1st of that year. Uh, shortly thereafter, the, and the story of, of coming to Hawaii is very interesting because it was two attorneys from the Bay Area that were on the uh, Matson uh, passenger ship, SS Luraline, coming to Hawaii that had a conversation about bringing Rotary to Hawaii. And so they uh, met with uh, some business people in Honolulu and uh, uh, formed the first club. Shortly thereafter, they expanded to all islands. So we have clubs on Maui, uh, the Rotary Club of Kauai was the first club on Kauai. Uh, we have a Rotary Club uh, in Hilo um, and Rotary Clubs in Kona. So very rapidly expanded. Um, today, we're 52 clubs on all major islands. Uh, we have uh, over 1,500 Rotarians um, doing service um, in our local and global communities. Fantastic. Well, I know they make a great impact having been a Rotarian for 11, 12 years now this year, and I'll talk a little bit about my story later. Um, however, as district governor, you lead thousands of uh, Rotarians in Hawaii. You have a very important role. It must, as a volunteer district governor, it must have been a big commitment and a big decision for you to take that leap and become Hawaii's district governor. There must be a lot of passion behind that decision. Can you talk a little bit about why you chose to be our district governor and what your Rotary story is all about? Sure, I've been in Rotary for over 20 years um, and we've done some, some great work here locally. Um, I joined Rotary after I'd be, uh, retired from the Navy um, and, and had 21 years on submarine service. Um, and had inv was involved in, in building my own business. Um, a couple of years ago, a friend of mine, Rich Zegar, um, asked me if I would be interested in participating in a global service project, a service project in Romania. Um, and I didn't fully understand at that time the impact that that, that would have on me personally. So the project was to uh, take some doctors from the University of Virginia funded by Rotarians here in Hawaii 
to teach doctors in Romania how to do cleft lip, yeah. cleft palate, uh, facial reconstructive surgeries. And uh, I was asked to go along, not being a doctor, to go along and uh, document the, uh, the trip itself um, and what we did. And I, I remember waking up on a crisp, cool April morning uh, in Iash, Romania. That's spelled I-A-S-I -S -I and pronounced Iash. Uh, and I was bundled into a van with Rich and we headed off to the hospital. And, and I, my initial thoughts were that I would be um, told what the doctors were doing and maybe sit in a conference room and have some discussion. And um, that's not what happened. What really happened was uh, um, they put a, a gown on me and a cap and face mask and booties. And I remember walking down this long uh, hallway towards a couple of uh, double stainless steel doors. And as the, the, the stainless steel doors opened up, um, I was taken into the operating room. And the doctors were preparing a, a four-year-old child uh, for a cleft uh, palate surgery. Uh, not a cleft lip, and this, this little girl, four years old, had a quarter size hole in the roof of her mouth. Um, and I, I thought about not just the impact that Rotary was having on changing that child's life, the impact we were having, that would have on our family and parents, but the impact that Rotary was having on the doctors themselves, because we were empowering them to do for themselves what they were not uh, did not have the technology, did not have the expertise uh, to do. Um, and I came away from that experience, um, really life-changing experience, with um, filled with not what just what we, what we do as Rotarians, but what's possible for Rotary to do. Um, and as district governor, I, it was my hope that I would be able to bring that experience and that, that newfound passion to our district and um, have uh, gear things up for maximum impact for what we, we, we have uh, the ability to do. And we do some amazing things here in Hawaii. So that experience is what has lasted and kept you a Rotarian all these years. Yes, it, it just it, it, truly an amazing experience. I mean, we do wonderful things locally. Um, you know, I, I remember a number of years ago uh, when I was president of my club, we worked with uh, uh, Crane Community Park in Kaimuki, and we renovated the, the facilities there, and we provided after-school opportunities for, for children from Kaimuki High School and from the surrounding middle school, um, and they all came down to the park. Uh, and, and it, it was very gratifying to see um, that kids had a place to go that, you know, uh, would not lead to trouble but would lead to um, um, really an experience in their life that people cared about them. Let's talk a little bit more about that. As we know, Rotary is one of the world's largest global community service organizations with literally millions of members um, in hundreds of countries, maybe thousands. Um, you might know the answer to that. And a lot of the efforts by local Rotarians do you contribute to those global service projects like you explained and many others? My um, pin here will talk a lot about um, polio in, in a little bit and the Rotary Foundation. But I think there is a desire to help those in our community mm -hmm. and to make a great and positive impact there. Talk a little bit about how the 2,000 or more Rotarians here in the state of Hawaii have made long lasting positive impacts in their communities. Okay, so I, I think sometimes there's a, a, a thinking that Rotary International directs Rotarians on, on what to do, um, and, and that's far from the case. So right. we're interested in Rotarians pursuing uh, their personal passions, if you will. We have 52 Rotary clubs uh, around the state. Um, each of them has their own culture, has their own passion, uh, has their own focus. And so what we do is try to facilitate their success. Uh, you're right, we do have a Rotary Foundation. That Rotary Foundation helps fund the service that we do here, here locally. Um, some notable service projects, and understand that, that each island does you know, tremendous things. Let's start with the Rotary, uh, Rotary Club of Hanalei Bay on Kauai. Uh, Rotary Club of Hanalei Bay does amazing work with um, AEDs. 
um, uh, automated external defibrillators. Uh, they have uh, purchased themselves and, and installed throughout the island of Kauai 50 life-saving AEDs. And they're now asking us to expand their experience to all of the islands. Um, and, you know, the, the fact that we have the opportunity to save lives in that way is tremendous. Um, they also uh, started a, an organization that has gone global now as they spun that off from their club as a, a separate nonprofit uh, with rescue tubes. Uh, so they designed and installed the world's first rescue tubes that have now gone around uh, on our beaches so that uh, the everyday person could go out and save somebody who's drowning. Um, and uh, they started that on, on the island of Kauai. Pretty amazing. Um, recently, the, the, with the, the uh, lava flows uh, uh, in the Hilo area, in the Pohoa uh, area, uh, Rotarians gathered together with community and rebuilt a charter school uh, that had been burnt down uh, because of the lava flows. Um, in Kona, uh, they, they have developed a peace garden in Kona, and recently uh, they shared with me pictures of inspiring um, a, a, a conversation about peace by the installation of what are called rotary peace poles uh, that, that people that come by regularly uh, spend a few minutes learning about uh, how to create a positive peace. Um, here on Oahu, uh, last year we had a major project with Kahawiki, uh, which uh, is a public-private partnership uh, driven primarily by Rotarians. Um, and personally, I was over there painting uh, the, uh, uh, the buildings that had been built uh, and put in place and uh, put down flooring and we provide furnishings and, and that kind of stuff. And, and as I was painting at Kahoiki, um, I remember some families, young uh, couples with a, a child or two coming around uh, and looking and, and seeing the possibilities uh, that they might have a home maybe separate from their parents or maybe they're on the verge of being homeless. Um, and I live in Aiea Heights. Uh, my Rotary Club meets in uh, uh, Waikiki Yacht Club on, on Thursday evenings. Uh, but I, I was driving over the airport viaduct uh, on my way to my Rotary meeting towards town um, and I remember seeing out of the corner of my eye uh, laundry on laundry lines at Kahoiki. Wow. I remember, remember thinking about how that was the first time that I realized that people were really living in, in homes that Rotary built, um, that they wouldn't be on the streets, uh, and what an impact we had had locally. Major, major impact, and, and with that, we're actually going to take a short break we're going to come back and we're going to learn a lot more about the other side of Rotary, about the meetings, about the experiences of local Rotarians and some more projects. So with that, we'll go to break and we'll see you back here in just a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I'm Jay Fidel of Think Tech. Come around every Tuesday at 2 p.m. with John, David, Ann and me. We're talking about history, history lens. Right, John? Exactly seeing current events through the lens of the past. Absolutely. See you next time. Okay, Jay, thanks. <laughs> Welcome back to Rotary in Hawaii. I'm Janet Sheffer, uh, Hawaii District Public Image Chair. Uh, joining me today is our very distinguished, honored guest, District Governor Winton Shoneman, thank you again for being here. My pleasure. We have a few more things. We have a few more minutes to talk about Rotary in Hawaii. And um, we've talked a lot about the service projects, both on the global um, scale and on the local scale. Um, we know that Rotarians make a difference and um, we are people of action. That's our catchphrase for the year. So tell us a little bit more, Win, about maybe the most impactful service project in the last year or two that you've witnessed that Rotarians here in Hawaii have been involved with? Wow, that's really difficult to, to say what the most impactful full is. Um, you know, our focus for the year um, is on fighting human trafficking. Um, and, and human trafficking is kind of out of sight, out of mind with technology nowadays, but we do know that millions of children around the world are trafficked 
Um, we've reached out to a local organization and, and partnered this year with Ho'ola Napua, who is interested in uh, uh, providing a, a facility for survivors of human trafficking. And we've done a, an outstanding job. Lila Berg and uh, Mark Merriam, uh, two of our Rotarians, um, have invested uh, uh, their passion and invested a good portion of their, their life and their commitment to educating Rotarians around the state uh, on the issue of human trafficking. Um, right here in, uh, coming up in February, Lila's traveling to, uh, to Kauai to visit all of the Rotary Clubs there and talk about the issue uh, of human trafficking. So I'm, I'm excited that, that um, our Rotarians have uh, embraced uh, the education and prevention of, of uh, exploitation of humans. Uh, in Rotary, we talk about it as uh, human slavery. Um, it is a, uh, um, I'm a father of a 13-year-old child, and it turns out that uh, uh, trafficking in children, uh, I say father, grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Grandfather, right? <laughs> grandfather of a 13-year-old granddaughter. Um, and for, you know, it turns out that for, for trafficking of children, 12.7 uh, years old is the average age of somebody that is trafficked, and it's unfathomable to me that uh, we could live in a world uh, where we traffic children like that. Uh, so I, I, for me, I think the most impactful this year uh, will be the fact that we've educated um, our thousands of Rotarians here in the state about the issue of human trafficking. Yes, and I, I'm very, very glad that that's one of your focus this year. We've been able to, as Rotarians, provide some service to Hoala Napua um, by helping with their garden. Mm -hmm. And it was quite meaningful, um, and it's quite a, quite a project. We had uh, dozens of Rotarians out there clearing land so they could garden, the Peace Garden, yes. I believe it's being called. And it was very, very um, meaningful because we actually got to get our hands dirty and make a difference and actually do something. It goes far beyond just donating money. So if you're one of the people out there that wants to get involved and make a difference in our community, absolutely, Rotary is one of the things that you should consider. Um, I've been a Rotarian myself for about 12 years. Wow. And the community service projects along the lines of literacy and painting the community service centers and um, helping update many of the homeless shelters and uh, giving back to our school. I'm a Waikiki Rotarian. Um, our school is the Waikiki Elementary School. And every year in February, shameless plug here for my club, um, we have a rummage sale. And it's humongous. I don't have the date yet, but I'll get back to you in a future show. Um, it's the entire school's cafeteria. And every single penny, and I don't mean 95%, every single penny that we raise, which is thousands of dollars, goes directly to that principal, and they buy school supplies for the kids that can't afford them. So the teachers don't have to buy them all, which we all know that they do already. That's one of my most heartfelt projects I am involved with religiously every year. What, what keeps me coming back to Rotary? Yeah, but lest you think that Rotary is all work and no play, uh, Rotarians have a lot of fun as they well. Do. They do. We, we, we do. <laughs> we have a lot of fun with our service projects. But Rotary was built around fellowship, around meeting other people, about engaging and having conversation, and becoming friends first, and then making a difference. And so we do a lot of that. There's Rotary Club meetings around the state every week. Every week. Um, we meet in the mornings. We meet at noon. Uh, my club meets in the evening time. Uh, so there's lots of opportunities. Um, it is, is interesting that we, Rotary's done studies, um, and m many, many people join Rotary for the opportunity to connect with another human being in a way that is meaningful to them. And so the fellowship is a, is a great, great aspect of, of what we do and the caring that we have for each other. Right. Um, and I don't think that there's any other Rotary's broken up into districts worldwide. I don't think there's any other district that cares as much about each other as Rotarians do in Hawaii. Absolutely. I can attest to that. The Rotary, my Rotary club, Waikiki Rotary, is like a second family. 
and the 80 plus members are like my cousins and I would be amiss if I didn't attend my regular weekly meeting. As a small business owner, it has been a huge, huge positive impact on my business. Not only the business networking opportunities, but the opportunities to help other small business people. So for me, my Rotary, I'm a lifelong Rotarian, and it has made all the difference in my life. No, that's an interesting point when you we talk about you know us business people in in rotary one of the things that rotary uh, adopted early on was a position on ethics in business uh -huh. uh, my my accountant is a rotarian my attorney is a rotarian and and, and we do that because uh, they have um, adopted a, a way of thinking about uh, doing things in a, an ethical manner and and most rotary clubs if not all uh, recite, recite what we call the four-way test of the things we think say and do um, as a reminder that we have uh, committed ourselves to being ethical in what it is that we do it doesn't mean that we don't make mistakes but we fix those mistakes and we, we come around to uh, uh, doing things in, uh, in a rightful manner. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a Before we great test, Before we, we recite, we could recite it here now, but that's okay. We'll let you find mm -hmm. out about it at, at your first Rotary meeting if you are so inclined. And we want to talk a little bit about that. Um, we have a new website um, this year, and it's designed for people in the community um, stakeholders, people that are interested in Rotary and getting involved in Rotary in one fashion or another. Um, to learn about um, Rotary in Hawaii, you simply go to www.rotaryinhawaii.org right there on your screen. This website will connect you with another Rotarian. Let's say you just moved here. This is a transient community we live in. Let's say you're a military person that just got transferred here. Let's say you are retiring this year and you're looking for a way to um, get involved in the community and give back to the community after decades of hard work or let's just say you're someone like me who's a small business owner who needs to connect with other people to get outside of that small world and also to network for business opportunities so there's a million different reasons that you would check it out anyway go to rotaryinhawaii.org it's going to take you to a form that gives you the opportunity to meet a Rotarian at a meeting, be contacted by phone or email by another Rotarian, and just you know take that first step if you're interested. There's no obligation, of course. It's simply a way for you to get more involved this year in your community. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We're very excited for that. It's something new that we've added to, uh, uh, to our district uh, outreach, if you will. Um, is an opportunity for people to connect. Uh, I will add to that that uh, my good friend Ayman Elda Cockney uh, um, came to Hawaii a number of years ago and he joined specifically uh, for the friendships uh, that he knew were available in, in Rotary. Um, and he, he joined uh, specifically uh, to become lifelong friends. Right. And, and we are friends with Ayman and he is a phenomenal Rotarian past district governor himself. Um, we can talk now a little bit more about upcoming events and activities and trainings and things like that. Rotary has a fantastic um, network of business people and other professionals and also every club of the 52 clubs has events ongoing. So those can all be found at our normal district website which is, you want to recite it? Rotary D, uh, Rotary D 5000. www. Right, www. Rotary D 5000. www. Rotary D 5000. And what you do on that website is you can go to the right hand side and there's an event calendar. And even if you are not a Rotarian, you're welcome to attend some of those events to learn more about Rotary. So that's one opportunity. And then all of the club directories are there. So you can see where and when all of the clubs meet. And you can just walk into any Rotary Club and check it out that way. Indeed. And we will be having a, uh, a conference in uh, the middle of May, middle May, of May. 17th uh, through the 19th, uh, that we're very, very excited about. The conference is uh, uh, geared towards uh, Rotarians, but is open to non-Rotarians as well. Uh, we'll be having uh, Brian Rush, 
uh, from the Human Thread Foundation. Uh, we have Jennifer Jones, who's a former uh, Rotary International Vice President, uh, coming to speak with us, um, as well as we're working with some local nonprofits to have some speakers um, engage in a conversation about positive peace, um, engage in an opportunity uh, to make a difference in our, in our community, educate ourselves about the concept of positive peace um, as well. So uh, look for that on our website. Great. It's www.rotaryd5000.org. Um, or, you know, if all else fails, they can just Google Rotary right. in Hawaii. Right. And you'll, you'll find lots of other activities and events. Um, but we do need to mention the big, big, big event. And that is that Rotary, oh, by the way, this uh, May conference is at the convention center. Yes. Um, and next year, 2020, we can say that now, next year, Honolulu, Hawaii, is hosting the International Convention. You can expect 25, about 25,000 Rotarians from around the world embracing our shores and taking over that convention center and most of Waikiki. That convention we will talk more about in future episodes. It is huge. We haven't had uh, an international convention here in 30 years, I believe it's Longer been. than that, I think. Longer it's than 60, that. Yeah. And it's a great opportunity for local businesses and local folks to get involved in Rotary now. So I want to thank you so much for joining us today here uh, with our first episode of the year at Rotary in Hawaii. And I want to say much mahalo to District Governor Winton Shoneman, Win Shoneman, as we call him, because he's such a winner. <laughs> and um, signing off, myself, um, Janet Sheffer, District Public Image Chair for uh, Rotary District 5000. And we will see you right here again in two weeks for another update on Rotary in Hawaii. So thank you again, Wynn. Mahalo, Janet. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, again, we'll just mention those websites, www.rotaryinhawaii.org, if you are someone who wants to learn about Rotary. And if you want to check out uh, the current Rotary district and its information events calendar, that is www.rotaryd5000.org. Yay. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you again to Think Tech for hosting us. Much